Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Trash Man. Uh, Eustace Kid, uh, this is the Onigashima one, obviously as you know. Um, one of the more threatening brain dead units in the game. Um, it takes little, little to no skill to wield this character to his full uh, effect. Um, pretty much he's almost, he's nigh on invincible. Like the guy just... T you know, every time you knock him back, he heals. Every time he hits you with the skill two garbage spiral, he's like picture Saturn, but like instead of I don't know space rubble swirling around the planet's gravitational force, it's basically just fucking garbage. Like I don't know your mom's vibrator that she threw out secretly into the recycling bin uh, probably made its way into kid's arm. Like in fact, I think I could see it right there on his left elbow. That might be it. Uh, her her old Hitachi magic wand, but uh, anyways, that's besides the point. We're gonna get into this and basically uh, fuck shit up as we, you know, are expected to with this character. So, um, skill one is a knockback ability. It knocks them back quite far, and in fact, if you're in your flag area, by the way, I don't know why nobody got the, the mid flag. It's kind of like the most important flag, but whatever. Um, if you are in your flag area, you get 100% uh, increased knockback. Um, which I believe if you have the Warlords tag on that as well, it might even go even further, which is pretty fucked up. Because I've seen some dudes fly from Alabasta all the way to Drum Island with a single punch. Um, and also you get a bunch of reduced damage. And I think, believe you get an attack buff too when you're in your own flag area with your normal attacks. Um, key, pro tip when you're fighting uh, other Eustace kids with kid. Try to get your uh, skill 2 up, your garbage spiral. And only use normal attacks against him. Do not engage uh, in like pop skills on him unless he's like pretty much dead and you have team boost because you're just gonna be healing the guy. So um, run, you know, if you're if you see a lot of these guys in league, which you definitely will, I would run a little bit of attack on kid um, just so you, you have a little bit of an advantage when fighting units like that. Um, it also goes for like when fighting Oni Luffy as well. You want a little bit of attack. I always run attack on my defenders. Uh, you don't really need them necessarily because of all the fixed damage bullshit that they have, but I like to get the job done quick, if you know what I'm saying. So um, basically, uh, that Zoro just got punched in the face, but you know, I'm a 30 second man, as they say. I'm like Kizaru, light speed, baby. But um, we're over here grabbing this uh, B flag. We're gonna be chilling here for a moment. Uh, it seems like our, our team is uh, holding it down, or at least one it was just Whitebeard actually holding it down over there. Uh, they will be going for the back caps and stuff, so that's not good. I could see one of them. Uh, he just picked up an item or whatever. Uh, Oni Luffy right here just making us eat his uh, you know rubbery black fists. Look at that big old fist right there. Um, which is, you know, it's not the most fun. He's going to go try back cap. Hopefully one of our teammates sees that. Uh, seems like somebody's back. I don't know why every, all the, every fucking one of my teammates are over here. Like, you, you know, use your brain. You don't got to push for the fifth flag. It's super unnecessary. This Roger's about to catch a big rubber fist. In fact, I think, um, the you know, that dildo or vibrator I was talking about might have just flown off in that scrap pile. You could see it, again, twisting around here. Um... But uh, this Roger, uh, Kid's really good against fighting Rogers. Roger's actually also good against fighting against Kid, um, just because he doesn't really knock you back. So you're not really going to be healing uh, Kid that often. If you just hit him with like raw damage, Kid gets owned pretty easily. Same with um, Anti-Heal, obviously. Anti-Heal is the bane of this guy's existence. So Luffy, uh, people say, I don't know why he's like not as popular or common. I guess because people just get bored of him, but he is actually like the king of this meta in my opinion with all the reds and uh, characters that rely on heals. So I actually got mine to level 80 as well and I've been using him and it's just been a fucking breeze. Like honestly, people have just been getting destroyed by anti-heal slash, uh, what is it, the room swap, you know. Um, not to be confused with the womb swap, which is one of my signature moves, so look out ladies. But um, we out here, I don't know why we started with law. I think we were just... Um, you know, drunken on drugs, maybe, uh, perhaps, probably not, definitely not, but um, we were, um, we just wanted to uh, get the anti-heal off on some of those units, because their starting lineup looks very, very threatening, so we're just kind of chilling here, waiting for our opportunity to swoop in and anti-heal some of these fools. There is a law there, and Zoro, I was kind of aiming for this Zoro slash Roger if they were to come up, but uh, just kind of picking my opportunity here, and uh, fucking, of course, he, he got the... Uh, 
that off right there. Now look at this shit. This, as I said in the last video, this lot is crazy damage, but I'm gonna die fairly quickly, so this other lot actually, I believe, ends up killing me with like a counter or something. Um, oh, I actually hit him with anti-heal, but I did jump down and die, so. Uh, I don't know what the fuck, yeah, oh, I guess it was this dickhead, but uh, we're gonna be switching into Kid and showing you the power of immortality. Uh, we're gonna go over to that, uh, what, what is that flag? Is that the D? No, that's not the D. It's not my my personal uh, favorite flag, but I'm gonna punch this Zora. It's got some good range on that skill one too, surprisingly. Um, but we're actually gonna just chill here and basically wipe the entire team one by one, as, you, as you'll see in a moment's time. So this Zoro, uh, his normal attacks, I forgot to mention, Kid actually has some range to it. They fly off. Um, so that's really nice as well. They're capturing that flag over there, but whatever. It's just, you know, it's not like flags are important in this game, but uh, we're gonna KO this Roger. Um, this kid's gonna try to come and uh, press me. We're both gonna heal each other for a moment, but I'll show you what I mean when you're fighting another kid uh, when to use and when not to use your skills against him. So I just knocked him back just so I can recap this flag. Um, he was at full health basically anyway, so it didn't really make a difference to me. Uh, but from now on, I'm gonna be basically using normal attacks slash um, trying to hit him with this uh, skill too. So uh, this Usopp actually and fucking Luffy are gonna catch a beating. Like I said, I was gonna pick off their team one by one. Look at these normal attacks flying. I only got like 200 attack on him and like 1k defense with this metal set. I believe I'm just running damage reduction like the sugar metals. But yeah, here's our, here's my little uh, 1v1 with Kid. Actually, this this Usopp's about to catch a fucking uh, a smushing. I'm gonna smush him like that one time. Uh, you know, like I told the story before, saw the person smush a rat with a uh, fly swatter. But yeah, check this out. Hit him with the normal attacks. Of course, I'm in my own treasure area, so I get a little bit of a buff. Um, but yeah, don't use any healing attacks on him and you catch him when he's outside of his treasure. He got that perfect dodge, which is perfect because I could just hit him with that fixed damage bullshit. And uh, that's pretty much it. This Kuma should have been up in the middle. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking going, uh, coming to help me, which I didn't need, obviously. I literally killed everybody once, one at a time. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so you win some, you lose some. Uh, this this kid and this Roger, or Law and this Roger, I guess. Um, I probably could have beat the piss out of both of them, too. Um, but, you know, I just kind of gave up here. There was really no point in fighting anymore. So I just like, yeah, we lost. No big deal. But, um, yeah, I mean, pretty... Obviously, he's super broken. He's level 80, and he's only got one level 5 skill. So, um, not too shabby. I got Zone and Grand Line, Attacker, Straw Hats, pretty standard uh, kit for my red defenders, and uh, yeah, not really much more to say. You can check out my medals here, uh, the Sugar and Corazon medal, and um, yeah, I mean, that's about it, so hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did like the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and stay tuned for the next One Piece Bounty Rush video. We'll see you then. Peace.